Hey, good morning. This is Adam BS. How's everybody doing today? Today's a beautiful Thursday. We're almost done. We're on the home stretch for the weekend. Again, it's very hot. Drink plenty of water and uh, be blessed. God bless you. And I always like to uh, talk about, uh, share with you a, an encouraging word. And today I want to I want to share a word of um, in the book of Joshua 24:15, and it talks about um, book of Joshua says, but but if you refuse to serve the Lord then choose today whom you will serve would uh, would you prefer the gods of uh, the gods of your ancestors served beyond the euphrates or you will be the gods of the amorites um, in the, in whose you now live but as for me and my house joshua said look at joshua says, as for me and my house i w we will serve the lord you know we all go through battles in life. We all go through circumstances, but you know, there comes a time when uh, you win battles, you go through situations in life, uh, you have situations in life that you go through, and you win victories, there's battles, there's, you know, you, you, you overcome things, you know, you, you, you triumph, there's burdens that come, and, uh, and then, and then you, you get another victory. And, and then, uh, and all while serving uh, an awesome living God. But I, I, I want to tell you something that Joshua said and really brought, brought it to my attention was choose you today who you're going to serve. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. You know, after the many victories, after the, the victories that David had in going to war, you know, he chose to serve the Lord. So what, what I want to say today is that, you know, after the victory, after you've been to the battle, after you went to the storm, after you went through the trials of life, whatever you, whatever trials you're facing, when you went through it, you know, yes, you, you went through, you got the victory and everything's going good and, and things are, are copacetic, like they say, things are, are smooth sailing. And you know, the, 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 the ship is going in a good direction and, and there's no turbulence in the plane. Keep fighting, keep praying, keep going to church, keep, gathering your family and pray together the family that prays together stays together you know don't let your guard down you know put on the full armor daily even though you won that battle even though you had the victory even though you celebrated that victory that victory you keep fighting you keep praying you keep reading your scripture you know i've been to some serious situations and some you know dire circumstances but that, that didn't because of those things happen and, and God gave me the victory, he handed me the victory, he handed my family the victory and for whatever the, the situation was. You know, we kept praying, we kept believing, we kept living for the, and expecting, praying and, and believing and expecting the next miracle or the next victory because that's a God we serve. He's a jealous God and he loves you and he wants, he, and, and you know, his, his angels encamp around us all the time, but you don't know that. so. Just know that today, that as for me and my house, as for you and your house, you continue to serve the Lord. You guys will serve the Lord in your house and you'll become a good family and just live a good life. And like Jeremiah 29, 11, I have good plans for you to give you hope and to give you, and to give you prosperity. Thank you. God bless you guys. I'll be praying for you guys.